Lesson for All, daily at 6 a.m. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. My name is Stavon Thomas, pastor of the Brownstone District of St. Adventist Churches. We are at lesson number 10, and lesson number 10 is entitled Husband and Wives Together at the Cross. Today's lesson is entitled Counsel to Christian Wives. But before we go into today's lessons, lesson, let us pray. Our oh, Father, we are so grateful for this morning and for the wonderful night's rest that you would have given unto us. As we delve into this morning's lesson, give us clarity of understanding, we ask. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Paul begins with a hinge passage connecting Ephesians 5, 1 to 20 and Ephesians 5, 22 to 33, in which he advocates for church members to submit to each other. Believers are to do so out of reference for Christ. The first of several times Paul will identify the relationship with Christ as the most important and defining one for believers. Paul also invites Christian wives to submit to your own husbands as to the Lord, clarifying that he is discussing submission of wives to their respectful, respective husbands. When Paul says wives are to do so as to the Lord, does he mean a wife is to submit to her husband as though he was Christ? Or instead, does he mean that Christ is the truest and highest focus of her submission? By analogy, the husband is the head, according to Ephesians 5 verse 23, with the church's faithfulness to Christ, Christ serving as a role model for the wife's loyalty to her husband. The passage presumes a loving, caring marriage and not a dysfunctional one. The verse should not be interpreted to allow any form of domestic dispute. Ellen White states in the book Adventist Home, page 117, if the husband is forced rough, boisterous, egotistical, harsh, and overbearing man. Let him never utter the word that husband is to be the head of the wife and that she must submit to him in everything for he is not the Lord. He is not the husband in the true significance of the term. And I say amen. It is very important for women to marry to someone who they love and someone who loves them because a person or a woman would be so missive to someone who she loves because once someone loves someone, they will be so missive, hence showing the love and the appreciation for each other. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Our kind of in Father, I pray, dear Lord, that you will help us as husbands to be loving to our wives so that it will become second nature for them to be submissive. Thank you for your answer my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you very much for making it Alpha. Join us tomorrow and throughout the week as we see the lessons we can glean from lesson number 10. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.